It is your time. The new blockbuster Black Panther is set in the fictional African state of Wakanda. The costumes inspired an arresting show at New York Fashion Week. The research was done in a collaborative uh, way. Ryan Coogler set a pace for all of us, gave us a, a lot to work off of, and we went into the Maasai tribes, we went into Surrey tribes. We were with the Indabele in South Africa, so there were so many inspirations for a lot of things that you see, you know, and there's so much to pull from, from Africa. You know, it's a wonderful cultural exploration. The South African movie premiere was in Joburg, and the cast, including Lupita Nyong'o, Danai Gurira, and Connie Chiume, celebrated costumes drawn from African cultures. Black Panther has made a very, very big uh, fashion statement. The designer, uh, Ruth Kada, she actually came to Africa and she had people who are assisting her from the north up to the south to come and do research about our costumes. And this is what she came out with. Beautiful, colorful costumes from all over Africa. And we have, we have seen for ourselves. Those who have not seen, they will see for themselves. I used to walk into her, her warehouse. It was huge, where she, she had all these costumes being built. I mean, think about all the people in this film. She was building very unique looks, like, every day all the time and I'd walk in there for a fitting or whatever and I loved looking at her wall of images because I'd actually start to take some because they fed my imagination about the world but there were so many from you know it was all these different African traditional representations that she was getting inspired by like you know the border tribe their their blankets are sushi blankets and uh, you know you look at the Dora and we are very very defined by the Maasai as warriors, you know, right to the, the neck rings and the red. And then it was really then taking it and like Afro-futurizing it at the same time, but you can so see the roots of it. It's like, is that how we would have developed, you know, had we been uninterrupted by uh, colonial influences? You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. This film has been so inspired. I know Ruth was very inspired by both ancient and contemporary African aesthetic expression. And yesterday at the premiere, I was looking around and I was like, wow, this is Wakanda. This is Step Town, oh, so you know? So Wakanda, it's right? so Step Town. So, you know, just to see how, yes, our art is definitely inspired by what's actually going on here. And then this will in turn inspire the, the, the expression in the real world. It's cool to see that kind of um, interaction. The film's message of representation and identity is conveyed in the work of international designer, writer, musician, and lawyer, Wale Oyejide. So I think anybody who's seen the film or will see the film instantly thinks of King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman's character as being this strong, regal character. And so for me, it was the idea of like creating that look uh, with a fusion of cultures. So my work is very much inspired both by the African continent but also by classic European art history as well. So even though film and fashion may be considered trivial to some, they really are a way to open the door to broader thinking on a global scale. What excited me most about being part of it was just being a part of this historical moment in our culture um, and being able to represent a powerful aesthetic for women, particularly women of color. I wanted it to be reflective, I wanted it to be powerful, I wanted it to look futuristic and progressive but still wearable. And based off of my interpretation in the film, if women in Wakanda were doing what they were doing, they would be wearing pieces like this. It's about the love of African culture. So I took all the elements of the people that I know, of the things that I saw in the movie, and it's a warrior, it's a strong woman, and I translate in a really couture pieces. I really thought of a black African superhero Kromat babe, and I really thought of my mother, and so growing up with her in a Nigerian household, using her African garbs in Ankara, and having her colorful, colorful clothes, it seemed very natural to add the Ankara into this look. And then when we saw the film, we saw there's a lot of technology in behind the film, so we wanted to add tech pieces, so we added the neoprene, and we added, as well as the bonding, fusible fabrics. And then just to put an O to the Kromat babe, the Kromat that we always have, we added the cages, because Becca's background is in um, architecture, so it seemed very natural to put all three of those together into one look and then placing the look inside of Wakanda. 
Black Panthers or Black cast find themselves stars of a film that's breaking box office records, and they're pleased the exposure is shining light on these designers. It was beautifully received. Um, it was packed. It was very packed. We couldn't even go in the main area. <laughs> it was, they had to come out and show us the yeah, beautiful but, pieces because yeah. it was so packed in there. Yeah. So that was a beautiful indication of interest and attention to this. You know, I think the African aesthetic has been slowly creeping into the mainstream over the last few years. You've seen like African print start to appear in more mainstream, quote unquote, artistic expressions like this piece which says made in Ghana, you know, and makes it very clear that this is of African origin. And so I think there's a lot of that that's starting to happen. And I hope and pray that this film and that sort of work that they did, th that show, propels that even more deeply. Absolutely. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? And the truth is that for a very long time, fashion and art has often derived from African influences. The difference is that you don't get the acknowledgement mm -hmm. of the origins of it. So, but in this film, what we represent is in full acknowledgement of where it's coming from, which is the difference, I think, mm -hmm. that you just give credit where credit is due. But, you know, in terms of influences, I think Africa has always played a, a global role. The revolution will be live. 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 Catch this stunning array of African design at a cinema near you.